I'm going to start on my model's forehead and I'm going to hold the skin tight and I'm always going to move my blade from finger pad to finger pad straight, never across. I'm going to get the feeling for the area with the dull side of the blade. Okay, I'm using a 10R today and I'm always going to start away from myself and then move towards. Okay, and we're gonna move right up close to the hairline. You can do just small sections so you don't get your client's hair. And we just keep going. A lot of people think dermaplaning is just for removing basically peach fuzz from the person's face but it actually is meant to also remove dead skin and give it a bit of a deeper exfoliation. Okay, you can see I'm slightly changing my angle, but I'm still always working finger pad to finger pad. I'm lifting off before I move to the next area. Okay, we're gonna finish the forehead. So we're just gonna move through this really quickly so we can get to the rest of the face. can see we're getting lots off of her skin so her skin's gonna be nice and glowy afterwards don't be afraid to get your client to turn their face how you need them to so that you can safely and effectively complete your dermaplaning that fuzz. Just wipe it away. Okay, so now we're going to move to doing uh, the cheeks and I'm going to stand on the right hand side of my client because I am right handed. That means that the handle of my blade is not going to be affected by her brow bone. I'm gonna get her to turn her head a little bit more towards me. And again, I'm always starting away from myself. And just nice, small sections. I'm going to stop as I get to the nose and I'm going to finish off this section of my client's face. Being very careful as I come towards her nose so that I don't nick the folds of her nose. I'm going to do her nose separately. Okay, so when I'm working on this side of the nose, I'm going to hold the skin very tight. Again, I'm going to try just with the dull side of my blade just to get comfortable. 
always holding my blade at a 45 degree angle. Small strokes. You'll notice as I'm working, she's not getting red. I'm not scraping her. We want our clients to leave nice and refreshed from the service. And I just work in small sections all over the nose. And everybody's nose is slightly different. Okay, so I'm going to have my client turn their head this way and I'm gonna finish the other side of her nose. Okay, still keeping the skin nice and tight. going to keep moving across the cheeks I prepped her skin before we started using a gel cleanser and I cleansed twice because I don't want any makeup debris left on her skin because then I'm just going to scrape that off instead of actually getting the um, dead skin off. This is a service where we want the client's skin to be quite dry. So I used a prep solution for that. It's a BHA and AHA blend and it also contains witch hazel, just for its antiseptic purposes. Okay, be careful as you get to the ear. Okay, so now I'm going to work on the top of the client's nose. And so I'm gonna change my body position where I'm standing kind of at the side in front of her. And I'm just going to have her adjust her head just down slightly. Okay, get a feel for the area with the dull side of your blade. And then when you feel confident, you can come right in and do the very top of the nose. Okay, nice little strokes whatever works for the shape of your client's nose and making sure that you're always holding the skin tight. Okay, we can get in between the eyebrows as well. So again, I'm just gonna hold the skin tight. I'm changing my body position to what works with the client's contours of their face. I don't want the handle of my blade to ever hit her in the nose or over the brows or anything like that. Okay, so now I'm going to move around the mouth area. So a lot of people get nervous around the mouth. Um, I'm gonna show you a technique that works really, really well. So I'm going to ask my client just to open her mouth Yep, and just tilt her head. I'm gonna get right into the corner of her mouth, like so. Okay, and she can relax her jaw, and I'm gonna have her turn to the other side and open again. Thank you. And I'm just going to corner of the mouth that way, holding the skin nice and tight, and you can relax your jaw again, and just turn, thank you. Now I'm going to come right around the mouth, 
So I'm going to do that. You can have your client open their mouth slightly if you need to. If your client has a lot of terminal hair in this area, that would need to be tweezed or threaded beforehand. If you go over terminal hair with your dermaplaning blade, you're going to dull it and it's going to feel really uncomfortable for your client. So again, I'm just working around the contours of my client's face. And then I'm going to get right in the center here and I'm going to do that by kind of pulling the lip down just to flatten out the area. Nice. Okay, so now I can move to around the lower part of the lip and I'm just going to move around my client again working around the contours of their face. <clears throat> I'm not like scraping her lip or anything but I am getting right around the edge of her lip because we can get a lot of congestion in those areas, okay? So we've done completely the nose and the mouth area and now we're going to finish the lower part of the face. So I'm gonna have my client just turn her head and I'm standing at the head of the bed now and I'm, I've done to about here, so I need to go in and I'm gonna come up this time. And I like to do that around the jawline because uh, it's a bit safer. You can pull skin up over uh, the jawbone so you have a nice flat area that you're always working in. Okay. And just have your client turn their head as you work. We want to be very conscious working around the chin. The chin is actually the number one area where nicks can happen. And everybody's chin is different. What's important is that you are, as the technician, safely able to move around the area. You can just break it up into small sections. This is another area where we can see a lot of congestion in skin so as you're working, you may notice a reduction um, in some of the like little blackheads. If your client has some pigmentation, like epidermal superficial pigmentation, uh, you may notice that that comes off as you dermaplane as well. Okay, and I'm just going to keep moving here.
Okay, so that's a basic little tutorial of how we do the face.